Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this part, we'll discuss about the concept of nucleus. As you all know, the nucleus is present in cell. Whether it may be eukaryotic cell or prokaryotic cell, most of the cell have nucleus. And this nucleus is known as heart of the cell. Because it is this nucleus which control and coordinate all cellular activity. Usually a single cell will have single nucleus which is present at the center of the cell. Anyhow, the number and the position of the nucleus depends on different types of the cell. So if we study ultra structure of a nucleus, it consists of mainly five parts. Those are nuclear membrane, nuclear sap, nuclear matrix, chromatin fiber and the nucleolus. We will discuss those parts one by one. First one is nuclear membrane. It is also known as karyotheca or nuclear envelope. As the name indicates, the nuclear envelope, it will envelop the DNA and it separates this DNA from the cytoplasm. And this nuclear membrane, structurally it is similar to that of the plasma membrane. So to know the structure of plasma membrane, you can watch my first video. This nuclear envelope, it is made up of two unit membrane. The outer membrane is known as outer nuclear membrane and the inner layer is known as inner nuclear membrane. In between this outer and inner nuclear membrane, space is present and this space is known as perinuclear space. In order to this inner nuclear membrane, you can see a black color layer, isn't it? And it is known as a nuclear lamina. This nuclear lamina is made up of intermediate filament. So this nuclear lamina helps in the attachment of this chromatin fiber to the inner nuclear membrane. Even outer to the outer nuclear membrane you can see a layer, isn't it? So that is known as intermediate filament. But there is a difference between this intermediate filament and a nuclear lamina. That is the intermediate filament of a nuclear lamina is compactly arranged whereas this intermediate filament is loosely arranged. Anyhow, the nuclear lamina and intermediate filament is the one which maintains the structure and position of the nucleus. The structure of this outer nuclear membrane is similar to that of the endoplasmic reticulum. As you can see in this diagram, the outer nuclear membrane continues with the endoplasmic reticulum. And the outer nuclear membrane is also studded with the ribosome like that of the endoplasmic reticulum. So what is the function of ribosome? Synthesis of protein, isn't it? So the protein which is synthesized by the ribosome which is present on the outer nuclear membrane, it enters the perinuclear space. So perinuclear space means it is a space which is present between inner and outer nuclear membrane. So this perinuclear space is a fluid filled space which consists of mainly lipid droplets and protein. So apart from that, this nuclear envelope is porous in nature. Means it consists of a many number of pores and that pore is known as a nuclear pore. This is a diagram showing the structure of a nuclear pore. Nuclear pore is circular in nature. And along the margins of this nuclear pore, the inner nuclear membrane and outer nuclear membrane is fused. The major portion of the nuclear pore consists of stacks of ring. There are mainly three types of rings that is a cytoplasmic ring which is present towards the cytoplasm side and nuclear ring which is present towards the nucleus and the central ring. Apart from that, at the center there is a protein known as a central transporter. So this central ring is attached to this central transporter and this central ring is also attached to the other transporter by radial spoke. In between this radial spoke, space is present. So this space acts as a passageway which transports the substances from nucleus to cytoplasm and vice versa. Apart from that, the nuclear pore also consists of a structure known as a nuclear basket towards the nucleus. So this nuclear basket is made up of a ring and eight filaments. And this nuclear baskets play a very important role in the transport of RNA. So that is all about the structure of a nuclear pore. 
The second component of the nucleus is a nuclear sub. It is also known as a nucleoplasm or karyolymph. This nucleoplasm is a transparent semi-solid substance which is present inside the nucleus. So it is present in between the inner nuclear membrane and the nucleolus. So it is in this nucleoplasm the chromatin fibers and the nucleolus are suspended. Apart from that, this nucleoplasm also consists of nucleoproteins, nucleic acids, enzymes, minerals, etc. So that is about the nucleoplasm. The third component is a nuclear matrix. The nuclear matrix is present in the nucleoplasm. It is similar to that of the cytoskeleton. This nuclear matrix is a one which decides or which determines the nuclear space. And it helps in the organizing of a chromatin inside the nucleus. So this nuclear matrix is an insoluble component of the nucleus. So that is about the nuclear matrix. Fourth component is a chromatin fiber. As the name indicates, this chromatin fiber is fiber-like or thin thread-like elongated coiled structure which is present inside the nucleoplasm. This chromatin fiber takes a basic stain and you can see this chromatin fiber only during interphase stage. Whereas in the other stages of the life cycle, these chromatin fiber undergo coiling and condensation to form a ribbon-like structure known as a chromosome. And chemically, this chromatin fiber consists of a large quantity of DNA and protein. Anyhow, little quantity of RNA also present in the chromatin fibers. The chromatin fiber is of two types, heterochromatin and euchromatin. Heterochromatin is a darkly stained and highly condensed region which is mainly present near the nucleolus. So this highly condensed region is known as a chromocenter or false nucleoli. And this heterochromatin is genetically and metabolically inactive part of the chromatin fiber. It is inactive because it consists of large quantity of RNA and very little quantity of DNA. On the other hand, euchromatin is a lightly stained and diffused part of the chromatin fiber. And it is a very active part of the chromatin fiber which consists of a large quantity of DNA which undergo transcription and translation. That is about the chromatin fiber. The next component is nucleolus. Nucleolus is a spherical colloidal body which is present inside the nucleus. Usually a cell will have single nucleus which is present in its centric position. Usually this nucleolus is associated with nucleolar organizer. Nucleolar organizer is a secondary construction which is present in some of the chromosomes. Like in human being, it is present in 5 chromosome like 13th, 14th, 15th, 21st and 22nd chromosome. And this nucleolar organizer have gene for 18, 5.8 and 28 srRNA. Therefore, this nucleolus is involved in the biosynthesis of a ribosomal subunit or it is a main function of a nucleolus. So that is about the five component of a nucleus which explains the ultra structure of a nucleus. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.